Good morning. <clears throat> it's the, oh, Lex, delicious, straight in there. Um, 20th of May, 2020, happy bank holiday Monday. Um, all hail the Lex, all hail. Uh, we were just comparing notes on turnover yesterday and Lex is smashing it and we're all not smashing it. <laughs> But as I've said before, Lex has shared her pearls of wisdoms with us. Uh, wisdoms, wisdom. She shared something with us and I haven't followed it, have I? So I haven't got myself to blame. Um, hi, Laura. Oh, morning, beautiful. Morning, Joan. <laughs> uh, yes. And morning, Julie. We got there in the end. So, yeah, I've got a few bits going out and I've got a couple of... Um, bracelets I just wanted to show you because they're beautiful you'll have seen one already from my insta if you follow me on there uh it's the Shelley show morning Barbolf. oh morning Gina May are you a newcomer welcome if so morning Nat oh bonjour Belle morning morning Anne um oh morning lovely hello Helen morning Ash and morning Rachel so yeah it's sales how oh morning Shellykins thank you Rachel um, the Gerda, yeah, I've got it. Um, good morning, sunshine. <laughs> morning, Joan. Yeah, how's your sales been? Because apart from Lex, who smashes it consistently, she's very consistent. It's, it's not improved. I was saying last week, so if we go from Thursday, £48, this is turnovers on eBay, 62 on Friday, Saturday was 68 Yesterday, I thought was about to take off at 87. It, it's and that's a weekend, nothing so far today. It's really very, very quiet. And I'm hearing a lot from most normal people, not Lex, because Lex is special. <laughs> Lex follows her own rules. Um, morning, Pete. Oh, Joan Count, too. Oh, yes, that's true. Oh, Rachel, sales have been great. Have they really? That's great. If so, um, are you a uh, are you normally clothes and you're doubling in jewellery, Rachel? Remind me. Hi, Andrea. Ash might have dropped off a cliff past seven days of diet. Yeah, literally, I think it was. It started, it dropped off a week Saturday ago. So, yeah, just over a week is when it started dipping and it, it has flattened. The curve has flattened and, and not in a good way. Um well, excuse me, I felt so hay fever this morning. I thought, oh, I've got a cold. Um, it's because we were, you know, in the garden yesterday playing badminton and it's going to be gorgeous. But all my eye and, oh, well, also Tom was trimming shrubbery and the hairy tree out the front. We've got this big hairy tree. It's not a willow, but it's it has long hair. And so he gave that haircut and um, was picking some of that stuff up. And I think it's not been good for me so that's my excuse for looking like a bag of old bones today morning peter are you doing your live five live today um morning mike just switched channels peter oh, from oh from who uh oh oh good morning i forgot it was a monday mm. i've done the thing uh, oh, never clothes, Rachel. Oh, Join it's the 25th ah. and 25th people are on. Whoa. 26 now. Oh. Um, do I follow you, Rachel? Um, or have I asked for your shop before? Because I'm a sieve head here. Um, good morning, Karen and crew. Hair branches, right? No, it's hair. It's uh, the branches at the top, and then coming down from the branches is all this green hair. Um, the hairy tree. Yeah, the hairy tree. So when I direct people to us, I say, right, left, went bare left, hairy tree on pebbles. And it's not bare left, it's turn left. But when well, it's not a proper turning, is it, into Ooh. where we are, it's bare left. And I say, it's a hairy tree on pebbles, and they go, oh, what? Well, and then they get in and they go, oh, sweet moon, yeah. But it is a proper turning, really. Anyway, it's had a haircut. It's got a bob now. Uh, oh, Rachel, hay fever has died today too. Oh, right. Yeah, because I woke up like, but in the back of your mind going, oh, I've got a terrible cold. How can I have a cold? I haven't seen anybody. It must be hay fever, mustn't it? <laughs> like, 
Yes, it is hay fever. Time for the Shelley Vicks. Morning, Vicky. Oh, <laughs> Peter. Yes, list, list five at exactly 11 a.m. Um, okay, 11 a.m. So what have we got? 17 minutes. Although I feel like I just want to go in the garden, but I shouldn't because hay fever. Hello. Looking good. Smiley, happy weirdo child from Lex. Morning, Connie from Bad Wolf. Which one's that? Well, the mod's only just arrived, so they haven't caught up with that. Hello! Morning, Mum and Five Sons. Bare left, monkey right. Yeah. Mod hasn't got a monkey top on today. Oh, Rachel sold most of the compacts from store. Mine are just languishing in a box down there. Yeah, Peter, I'm only kidding. I know you're not, Peter. So don't try and cover it up now. <laughs> um, oh, Gina, yes, never com commented before, but been watching you since last year. Oh, well, you're part of the crew then. But Maud from Bad Wolf. And hi, Maud from Pink Harpy. Good morning. Don't take anything I say seriously. Likewise. Um, Karen, doing posts, then we'll, that will do for the day. It's gonna. I feel like it's going to be too warm to do anything soon um oh, it's yeah, weird it's, it's, it's um twen in the 20s in the 20s so it's like kind of it's lovely i do and i particularly like the evenings and the early mornings when we have this weather because it gets to a stage during the day where you kind of i just i don't know what to do with myself because i'm too hot and i don't know what i should be doing and also i don't know what to wear and because we're just not used to it we used to, well, I'm used to hoodies and, you know, and leggings. And so today I'm in my, a different um, shark top. This is my Marge, yeah, Marge, whatever she, it is, one. She keeps trying to wear. Can you shove off? You can try to you're wear not, not your posies. Yeah. So, and shorts. I don't know why you've seen my shorts before. Um, but I just, but, you know, it gets them down. It's like a hot, sweaty. Oh, careful with my puzzle for I'm, quite a while. I'm to do some of it. Oh, that's fine, but just careful. It's, I've had to decant it onto there. I started doing it in a box lid. It's a Monet, it's a Wentworth. And then discovered the box lid was not going to hold it, so I fucking had to decant it onto a, a box bottom. It's all very balanced here. Um, oh, Lex is asking if you can do star jumps, Maud. Yeah. Do you want to do a star jump? Hello, morning, Heather. Uh, that was Connie. Yeah, that was me. Jumping jacks or star jumps? What's the difference? Um, these are star jumps. Oh. Jumping jacks are these. Oh right, I think star jumps. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pink copy. When I move to completely Etsy, can I still be part of the Shelley crew? Absolutely. But you can be part of the Shell Crew or the Shelley Crew, spelled S H E L L E Y. Um, Connie has stepped out of the 90s today. Yeah, I had that top for Tom's 40th. He had a 90s themed party, and that's what I had that top for. And then she said, no, no, that, and cut the bottom off. No, you cut the bottom off. Yeah, because you needed it for something, didn't you? A talent show. Talent show. But then, because it's a size small, it's just grown with me. So I've had it for years. So now she's kept it. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. Those, there's a picture of me in the hall, and I have that exact length of turn-up jean shorts. Um, they're only from M&S, but yeah, totally 90s is back, isn't it? And my brother, did I say this? My brother gave me a load of Levi's 501s the other day that he's kind of grown out of belly-wise, and I was like, oh, my God, I put them on belly with, like, a crop t-shirt and a long card in. I was like, this is literally what I wore in the 90s, like to college. It was really bizarre because I used to borrow his Levi's 501s. Um, yeah, so it's Andrea took a long time for your Stratton compact sold. Uh, I think Rachel had the cream of the crop with the, she got in before me on the compacts. Um, oh, nine sales spent half and mostly Etsy. Yes, the eBay is quiet as anything and I should called Lex. <laughs> snark a day I need a puzzle no I don't need a puzzle map because then that's just something else you have to it gets dusty and I can't I don't want a, another dusty thing that I have to dust I don't dust I don't clean uh, if I can help it so no I don't want another thing thank you Peter you hoover, though. I hoover though oh yeah I hoover oh, yes. everything I hoover tables hoover everything um 
love the hoover uh yeah somebody was the other day oh i think it was caroline was saying about loving her new shark like shark hoover and uh as well like, oh, yeah i fancied a shark actually but we've got a um got a what have we got got a dyson but it's one of those big things but my friend has got one that you know you have on charge all the time and it's smaller so it's got a smaller thing and i sorry about all this hoover talk but oh, well, i do love the hoover yeah yeah um so what we'll do <laughs> lex to do star jumps in the next vlog yes thank you joe uh, Lex said that was very good. <laughs> yes, I don't need a bottle. The thing is, I jump on when people go, oh, do you need a blah, blah? Usually my mother-in-law, then, oh, my nan was very like this as well. If you said you like something, they'd buy it for you or get it for you. And you go, oh, no, no, I'm lumbered with it. I don't want it. <laughs> um, who, Joan hoovered her bed after a biscuit mishap. Um, it's good to hoover your mattress anyway. Sometimes I hoover the mattress. I get the whole big hoover on it, you know, hoover the mattress. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I've got a few bits to show you that are going out. And um, I just want to show yeah, I showed that I've got the Fitbit back on. It's not, not that it's doing much good, but I'll take that off to show you these. I showed this on my Insta, so here's one of them. And do you know, see the trouble is because somebody said you're going to keep it, and I sort of feel like I'm starting to have like a jewelry museum. I feel like I want to keep it just because it is so freaking lush, but it does nothing on my arm. It looks ridiculous because I haven't, it's like a twig with a nice, a beautiful thing on it. Um, but it's like you can feel the difference. These beads, not like the seed beads, they're really like good quality, and this like wooden teak thing. And I didn't even know, they're not signed, I didn't know what it was. And it was only because I bought I bought a job lot from somebody and then I was looking up, um, it wasn't this job lot that this came in, and then I was looking up to see if he had any other bits for sale and he had one of these and I was like, oh, I've just stuffed one of those away in my pot, like to, because it's lovely. And I looked it up and it is a um, Gerda, Gerda Lingard money. So she was Li Gerda Lingard and she set up, I presume she married um, Mr. Moneys and they set up the Moneys um, company, um, Danish. Uh, and they wanted to, I think they wanted to use natural materials or something. So hence the teak. Um, and they were both trained silversmiths and they set that up in, oh, when was it? Can I see that from here? Can't remember, but yeah, it's Gerda Lingard Money's this. If you get one of these, because somebody else said, uh, oh tattoos by Chloe said, Oh my god, is that is that not is that good then? I was like, Oh yeah, and she said, Oh, I've just put one in a job lot. I didn't know what it was. But uh, the thing is you sometimes you can just tell the quality of that, like that they've had to get that bend and, and for it, you know, the quality. It's like, oh, baby. And that just came up with a job lot. Clearly, it, it, it's hit and miss, but occasionally you get something fabulous in a in a job lot. Yeah. Joblet. Joblet. <laughs> Peter, I'm going to do a big list of what you should do. What I should do, what, what. Um, yeah, it's just, but it looks it, it, it's rubbish on me. Rubbish. So if I keep it, it's going to be part of my museum freaking collection, which I'm tempted to do because... No, you shouldn't. Um, Peter, time for me to go and make coffee and go into makeup. <laughs> All right, Peter, we know you're going live soon. <laughs> Andrea, I absolutely love their designs. Lex introduced me to it by Cheryl. Oh, the monies, the God monies. Yeah, well, I didn't, well, it's been the first bit. So um, the clasp, yeah, it's just freaking amazing. I think I've got a mosquito bite. Oh god! Oh, you have. Yeah. Go and see, Daddy. Oh, um, I can't. Yeah. Andrew just sold a belt on a similar design. It wasn't money, so. Oh, but that, but gorgeous. So if it's got that kind of um, fastening, and the other bit I've got Danish wise is <clears throat> this came out of a joblet as well. Is a Jürgen Jensen pewter cuff. It has. I imagine it was in the joblet because because you mentioned it because it has got a a bend in it you can see that bend um and i 
but I paid 30 odd quid for the joblet and there were quite a few nice bits in it, some randoms, but I did, I had one of these. Now this guy, Danish again, Jürgen Jensen, is son of George Jensen, who is a silversmith. Um, but I think Jürgen Jensen does more pewter because I had a pewter cuff by him before. And that did actually go for 30 odd, I think, 30-ish quid. And given I paid about 34 for the droplet, I think it's good, this will be less because of the, the dent. But well, that and another piece will have paid for the joblet and then the rest is the rest is profit. Um, so yeah, another Danish. I do like the pewter stuff. Um, yeah, and you'll, I mean, you'll see it, like you'll be looking for, you know, they're signed. It's, you won't be able to see that, but it's in, it's in there. Um, yeah, Jorgen Jensen. So uh, that's easy enough to research. These, though, I don't know if they ever signed them, but are not signed, but you can tell the design. Um, oh, Lex has got some, oh, George Jensen silver earrings. They're, oh, they're in my preciouses. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Um, Vicky, I love buying job lots of Barbies and Barbie stuff. Always find treasures. Yeah, I bet you do, because not many people know about Barbie, do they? I mean, no, that's wrong. Lots of people know about Barbie, but like, Compared to the amount of people that, um, oh my God, this sounds rubbish. Now about other stuff, not so many people do. You know what I mean? Like you, you've got proper knowledge, haven't you? Barbie knowledge. Um, good morning, Antoinette. And also in the job lot, I just love this. I do like a bit of pewter. It's a brooch, just a little um, artist's palette thing. It's just SCA, made in England pewter brooch and that was in the joblet as well there were quite a few bits i think between that and this we'll have paid for the joblet and then um there's some other bits so yeah very good so there's your two bits of danish there's some there's my pearls of wisdom for the morning right back to waffle <coughs> excuse me so what have i sold what's going out oh five minutes till pizza goes live La 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 la. So what's everybody doing today? I think we'll be hanging in the garden. More badminton. Oh, I've got a necklace I just can't find. It's a I'm wondering if I've put it in a joblet. It's an Avon. It's a bezel set. Multicolor. It's like this. It's like this. I like these bezel set things. It's like this bracelet in a necklace can i find it so that's sold for 14 pounds free shipping but i can't find it um oh there's some cross stitch we've got a penelope which uses anchor little bunnies and galax lots of nice um thread threadery there that's gone for 20 quid free shipping and then a couple of dmc's little beach huts and little kittens god there's another one for Lex, isn't that and I think these went for, yeah, 22.50 each. So that is nice. That's no, very nice, thank you. Oh, let's gonna fry herself in the sun. Yeah, careful, you're, you're quite pale skinned, aren't you? I'm not meant to go in the sun. I did have some bits removed off my face years ago and the, the consultant told me to wear block and I did it for a year and my legs went white and I was like, but I am actually, just getting my legs out at the moment. I'm not, I've got factor on my face, which I didn't used to do, which I wear every day now. Well, in fact, actually that is the only thing since he told me that I've worn a factor on my face every single day. But I'm trying to keep all of this covered or my back covered. Um, really, I want to keep my arms covered, but I can't find something that's going to keep me cool without, I mean, yeah, that will keep me cool. Um, don't mind my legs. I think they're fairly, they just feel safer, but the rest I'm actually trying to protect these days In without being arms. a sweat ball. I, I'm not, yeah, I wouldn't be bothered about, because they're quite freckly and I think you can, I think it's quite easy to get skin cancer on your arms as well. So I, I would quite happily have all that covered if I could find something cool enough. I guess I need some linen or something. Um, but, oh, Lex is lubing up in fact 50. Good eh? Um, needs it though, doesn't she? Yeah, you you are are you pale, Lex? <laughs> Let's just discover this. Um oh I'll tell you what, Lex. 
did you pick all the skin off your feet? Because mine's starting to peel and it's disgusting. It's kind of like when you've sunburned and you peel the skin off and it's kind of like you want to peel it, but it makes me feel sick at the same time. Um, there you go, everyone. We've gone from Jorgen Jensen to peeling skin off your feet. Uh, all right, have fun, Heather. Going to pick parcels. Chilling in the garden, lovely. Oh, Andrew's off walking around the village to the Scarecrow, Scarecrow Festival, fabulous. <laughs> Joan directing hubby to put furniture back in the right place after vaccine carpet. Ah. Oh, Lex is actually translucent. That's um trust you to be special. Peeling the skin off. Did it not make you feel like I feel like I want to vomit when I'm peeling it off? Oh, bad wolf always uses factor 50 pale Irish heritage skin. See, I used to because we went backpacking. I went backpacking with my friends around the Greek islands for about a month. Uh what's that about first year of uni or second year of uni time or something like that factor two oil factor two oil i had on it's just yeah just frying um oh hi kirsten just joined feeling slightly sick with the oh sorry. <laughs> the feeling feet. i thought i thought you meant from being you weren't well yesterday weren't you yeah i know it's disgusting isn't it it, it makes me want to vomit um, sorry about that, because now you will want to vomit too. Rachel, I accidentally had Lex's foot peeling vid on whilst eating breakfast last week. I'm not going to show you my feet, but yeah, I also wanted to vomit seeing Lex peel her feet too. All right, let's move on. Uh, right, let's do this quick as well. Oh, how are we doing on time? Oh, I think Peter's probably gone live, alive Oh, Right, so yes, one next I can't find. Another Gangstar necklace. I sold one of these the other week, actually. This is the second one I've sold. It's only a, um, you know, a little bit of fashion jewellery. Oh, it would go quite well with that, actually. You know, just just like that on the back. Um, £14 free shipper. Be very effective there. Very effective. But, oh, you could do a um, video in this, couldn't you, with this shirt and this in the sunshine. Uh, right. And then a lady messaged me. She was putting in a lowish office, but then I saw her message saying, Oh, there's another one I'm after. If you can do the base for 24. And I said, oh, Well, tell me which one it is, love. And we'll see if we can do a deal. And we did. So for £24 free shipping, we have this one. When did this go on? Oh, March. But yeah, nice, chunky, uh, large links and chunky. Oh, do not tell me that's a. <gasps> just discovered that and I'm wondering if it's meant to be like that or if it's well it's plastic it's not glass what are the other ones like oh no it's very oh actually no I think that is how the pebbles meant to be it's all quite like that um so yeah that and this one which came back to me because it was it's, it's very short I put short although I had the measurements in uh had a didn't fit or something so this came back so I, I put actual short in the title as well as the measurements so yeah, that's what you wanted for 24 squidders. Um, oh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Like, it's really, really tumbleweeds. Um, I'm kind of feeling like stuff that I'm listing at the moment is for my future eBay. Like, that, this is just going to be quiet at the moment, and I'm listing for when it, it, it like, rather than it being a waste of time listing, I'm listing for the future when it picks up again. That's how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, let some always barefoot around the house so I'm leaving a trail of skin plates yeah this is what Tom kept saying I hope we're going to find your feet somewhere and the thing is that's what that's what I'm worrying about so I think I'll have the hoover out even more because oh. I do not want to be leaving <laughs> skin plates <laughs> right yeah and I'll also have my outside in the garden as well Oh, leaf blower, you're constantly getting that out. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because I go out there barefoot. So before I step out onto my patio, get the and then it all feels lovely and clean. And then we play badminton on the Astro and get the leavies up. And it's I just don't, I don't have to wear shoes then. Um, <laughs> Lex, you are a delight. We're all delights. Bad Wolf, keep feeding the eBay beast. It eventually picks up and your work will pay off. Yeah. 
I know it will do. Um, most people, apart from all hail Lex, um, oh, who else? Oh, and and Mandy, um, she's always flipping amazing. Is also doing flipping amazingly as well. But they, you know, they've cracked it. They've cracked it. Um, and I don't listen, so it's my fault. Right. Okay. I think that'll do it. I think that's just a nice, short and sweet, twenty-five minutes. Thank you for joining us. Thirty-five people. Do a thumbs up or. Bye-bye, don't die. Give me a thumbs up. I'm not even going to ask for the other one. Um, right, sunshine time, yes. Bye-bye, don't die. See you tomorrow on Tuesday. Have a lovely day. Oh, it sounded like Dracula then.